Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is design procedure of flexible coupling. As you can see, what I have done, all the steps I have marked with different colors so that you can remember all the step and reproduce the same during examination. I have used orange color for the first step okay, and I have used pink color for step number 2 and yellow for step number 3 and green for step number 4 and blue for step number 5. So now this step number 1 is related to the shaft okay, and step number 2 is related to various dimensions okay and then step number three is related to the dimension of hub and step number four is related to the design of key and step number five is related to design of flange so as you can see here the step number one we need to find d for that we have two formulas from there we can find d okay so this is step number one step number two first thing which we need to find is d1 which is 0.5 d divided by root n and based on d1 we can calculate d2 okay and we can calculate capital D1. So this was step 2. Here I am mentioning only regarding the dimension, regarding the stress calculation we will talk about later. Now step number 3 related to hub. So as we already have small d, so now capital D is equal to 2d and capital L which is related to hub will be equal to 1.5 D okay and now step number 4 which is related to key so we can have the length of the key which is greater than this L okay and the width is D by 4 and the thickness of the key can be D by 6 if it is rectangular key and will be equal to d by 4 if it is a square key then step number 5 is related to the flange so tf is equal to 0.5 d so this uh, this is design of flexible coupling here we have mentioned only about the dimension so this step number 2 is also related to this particular L where to find L we need to use this formula. So this where various steps and we have found various dimensions and these are the related formulas. Now we will see regarding the stresses. So for step number 2 here we have to calculate the maximum stresses which can be taken and it should be less than the permissible step number three we need to find regarding the induced shear stress which can be induced for the hub and it should be less than the permissible step number four we need to check what is the induced shear stress and it should be less than the permissible and in step number 5, we need to check what is the induced shear stress related to flange and it should be less than the permissible. So this is design of flexible coupling. Hope you like the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.